Hi, how are you? Well, <laughs> okay. Guys, I found something interesting. I found something very interesting. What the heck is that? Why are they like this? Okay. I found something very interesting. It is a lost season of BFD. I, well, I didn't find it. Hypercrystal did. I just found the video. And apparently it's about Fiery, the main character, but... I don't, I don't know. Wait a second. I don't know. I think this vibe fits. Hold on. Yep. This fits. Okay, let's get in the video. I had to freaking yell over the dang music. What the... What the heck? You read the title correctly. An yeah. entire season of BFDI was lost for 8 years before being found. Yeah, this season yeah, being hey. Total Fiery Island. Which oh. is why I spent the last month recreating every single page of this series really? to give you all the definitive Total Fiery Island recap. Because okay. I know you never actually read it. First of all, I let's did. get this straight. There are two BFDI comic series. The Fiery comics, made by Michael. These comics depict the lives of the BFDI characters outside of the competition. And then there's Total Fiery Island, made by Kerry, which follows the same vein of BFDI, where it is a competition show like Survival. I highly advise you watch until the end, because this comic series is very different from BFDI in many ways. Yeah. And it even has a completely different winner, because despite the name, it's not Fiery. Make oh. sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Let's get straight oh, into book right? one. Yeah, book better. one starts by inter Introducing the teams for this season. The ailing beef. Okay, so obviously, if there's a crying contest, Fiery loses because fire. Vers and Murder Town. These team names are parodies of the teams from Total Drama Island, yeah, yeah, the Screaming the Gophers, Gophers and, and Killer Base. Killer Have you ever wondered why Fiery and Coiny? The Killer Base. <laughs> from Total Drama Island, the Screaming Gophers and Killer Base. Have you ever wondered why Fiery and Coiny hate each other? This comic answers the question Bad. right on the first page. The announcer announces that the first challenge is a crying contest. The team who fills their jug with the most amount of water wins. Fiery is understandably mad, and Coiny doesn't understand why, causing Fiery to get mad at him for forgetting water is Fiery's poison, starting their infamous rivalry. The challenge begins, and Delicious. tubes are dropped on both teams. Over on Murder Trout, Bubble starts bowling her eyes out, Spongy sheds a little tear, and Eraser just doesn't cry because he's too Sigma to do that. Even Golf Ball cries. She then gets mad at Eraser for not crying, and he retaliates by saying crying is for wimps, and he's not one. The yelling beavers already have a high amount of water. Everyone is crying. Except Flower and Teardrop. But Teardrop is made of water, so she's still kinda contributing. Fiery clings onto the wall to avoid dying to the water and gets saved by the timer running oh, out. The water levels for both teams are pretty close, but the beavers win by a measly 300 millimeters, what? which is around the same amount of water a regular sized cup has, so it was really oh. close. Murder Trout loses, and the elimination is where Total Fire Island differs from BFDI the most. Because there were no viewers to vote at the time, this season has a contestant vote, and every contestant gets 3 votes. Let's oh, get into the first elimination. Bubble is safe with zero votes. Spongy, one. Pencil, Good. one. Coiny, one. Golf ball, three. Oh. Woody, five. Aye. And Fiery, six. No. Eraser is the first competitor out of Total Fiery Island. No way. Let's move on to book oh. two. Dif well, oh, okay, never mind. That makes sense. Yeah, if you don't contribute to the challenge, obviously you're gonna get booted. That makes sense. Drink from BFDI, this version of the balance beam contest no! separates what? each team into their own balance beam. Oh, right. Less team standing on the balance beam wins. Right off the bat, Rocky immediately gets pushed off by tennis ball. In this comic, Flower says her famous quote as part of the challenge, unlike in BFDI where she said it before the season even starts. Ice cube, don't you think I was beautiful? Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Fiery and Coiny continue arguing until Fiery eventually pushes Coiny off. Golf Ball also gets pushed off by Spongy. Ugh. Snowball and Match complain about this challenge being too boring, so they decide. I don't even think Spongy meant to. Spongy's looking the other way. He's just standing there. If you noticed before, Golf Ball was already teetering off the edge. There's not enough room. Spongy's just too big. Golf Ball also gets pushed off by Spongy. Snowball and Match complain about this challenge being too boring, so they decide to start running in place, eventually making themselves and Teardrop slip what? off. Golf Ball advises okay. Murder Trout to hold their hands, so if one of them falls, the others can hold them up. They all no. hold hands, except Spongy, fall. who just falls down for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Flower gives up, leaving That's only okay. Blocky on the yelling beavers. It seems like an easy win for Murder Aww. Trout, but Woody slips off, dropping Woody. everyone else with him, putting Murder Trout up for elimination once again. And then he leaves. Bubble, one vote. Pencil, Two. Two. Fiery, Coiny, and Spongy, all safe with three. Bye, Woody. Woody, four. Golf Ball's failed strategy made her lose with five votes. What? Oh, come on, bro. Woody's the one who made us fail. I mean, yes, it was a stupid freaking strategy. Like, obviously, if, some, if a person falls off a platform and they're holding somebody, the other person's going down, too. It's like trying to grab somebody's hand while they're drowning. 
you can grab their body. Don't grab their freaking hand. It's not gonna work. Say they to be a golf ball fan like me. Aww. Book 3 is a mile run. The team with the best average time wins. Everyone starts running, except Flower. Most of them pass 100 feet fairly quickly. Best. Wouldn't Flower get there a little late? At 600 feet, the track begins to slope downwards. The three leading contestants, Blocky, Coiny, and Bubble, all crash into a tree. Spongy surprisingly takes the lead until falling down a 10 foot drop. The no! others use Spongy's body as a trampoline, God but don't me. stick the landing, and end up cracking through oh. the track. Blocky and oh. Snowball are the fastest out of all of them, and Snowball is the first one to make it through. Minutes later, the Elling Beavers finish with an average of 11 minutes and 15 seconds, but are beaten by Murder Trout with 8 minutes and 56 seconds, Jeez, bringing the Beavers to their first elimination. I mean, the fact that it took anybody 11 minutes to run a mile is insane, because Jesus Christ, you must have been walking. You know what? It's Flower's fault. What am I talking about? Flower literally did walk, but the average person walks a mile in 20 minutes. So we, so that means, yes. Yes! She walked a 20 minute mile, that's why the average is so high. Snowball and Blocky, 0 votes. Rocky, 1. Match, Teardrop, Ice Cube, and Tennis Ball, 4. And Flower is eliminated with 7 votes. Yep. Ooh, makes sense. The next challenge walk. is a volleyball challenge. Match oh, is first to throw the ball, but she hits the net. The next challenge is a volleyball challenge. Match is first to throw the ball, but she hits the net, causing her to be the first one out. Bubble throws Dang. the ball and hits Spongy. The ball then bounces back at Coiny, and he grabs it on time. Coiny attempts to throw the ball, but Pencil comes out of nowhere and deflects the ball back. The ball is about ah. to hit Woody, but Coiny comes in in the last second and saves him. Good. Let's skip forward to the final three. Coiny throws the ball. ball. Teardrop catches it and throws it back. Coiny hits it off the air, but the ball lands outside of the arena, no. causing him to lose. Now it's down to Teardrop versus Woody. You shippers must be happy. Woody has the ball, and then what? he realizes. Now it's down to Teardrop versus Woody. You shippers must be happy. Woody has the ball. I didn't know anybody shipped them. Ball. And then he realizes this is his chance to prove himself. After years of being made fun of, he can finally show he's everyone what he's worth. This is his mo- <laughs> Woody gets scared of the ball. <laughs> Teardrop wins for the yelling beavers. Do Jesus. I really have to mention the specifics? Ooh. Woody is eliminated. Duh. The next challenge is rope climb. God, the team with the most bell no. ring is in 15 seconds. Bro, what the heck? Woody is eliminated. Look at this nonsense. They've already lost half their team. Eliminated. The next challenge is rope climb. The team with the most bell ring is in 15 seconds win. And Blocky and Snowball ring the bell immediately, dead. but Blocky decides to go through the ropes to sabotage the other team. When uh. he gets to Coney's rope, he uses scissors Bam. to cut it. Blocky is then disqualified for cheating, yeah. and his team, the Ailing Beavers, are put up for elimination. Oh. Because of that, Blocky is quickly eliminated. Yeah. Book 6's challenge is dodgeball. Bubble is the first to pick up a ball, hitting ah. tennis ball, but Match manages to catch it at the last second, causing Bubble to lose. Match and Snowball throw their balls at the same time, causing Pencil to go god mode and save Coiny while also catching both balls. Ooh. Since Pencil caught both balls, Snowball and Match are out, and Bubble returns. Now the only contestant remaining on the Ailing Beavers are armless. <laughs> <laughs> They're just laying down. Except Teardrop, who we know was pretty good at volleyball, yes. so she still has a chance to win for her team. Bubble throws the ball, Teardrop prepares to catch it, but Rocky jumps at the ball to try to protect her. The ball bounces from Rocky to Teardrop, making them both lose, what? leaving only the armless contestant, so Murder Trout wins easily. Teardrop and Rocky are the last two remaining at elimination, Rocky but Rocky goes. is eliminated at 5 votes. Yeah. Ooh. Makes sense. The seventh contest is a spelling bee. The I mean, person who spells- He had good intentions. He just executed him the wrong way. It's okay, Rocky. It all it happens. It's correctly, the most words will win for their team. I'll read out the words and show you if they succeed. Cat. Mob. Two. Is that a teapot reference? Yes. Corn. Bone. Bowl. Clams. Delicious. Watch. Boast. Orange. Teapot. Wait, is that another teapot reference? Yeah. Plate. Zoology. Yeah. Reality. Yeah. Toaster. <laughs> Doorknob. Phonetic. Yeah. Terrible. Botanist mm. Maneuvers Stupidity Aww. Silhouette mm. Presidency <laughs> you, Thank you Entomology Personality Archaeology Perspective Quintillions mm. Mm. Overestimate mm. Now it's down to the final two Sequentially Reincarnation Ten hours later Jesus. Now it's down to the final word Hippopo Hippopotamonstrosis cryptaliophobia Coiny falls asleep midway through speaking So what much the what is that? Oh. Hippopotamus Disease. There is no way. I don't. No. No, no, no. This. I know what it looks like. It is not. It is not the fear of hippos. There we go. It's been a long time since I've seen this word, but. 
all I knew is that it wasn't the fear of hippos because why the heck would it be, right? <laughs> but yes, if you fear very long words, please click off the video at this, or no, skip to the point where this is over. Coiny falls asleep midway through speaking, so much wins. The voting is reduced to only two votes per person, mm. and Spongy ends up being eliminated. Aww. The ace challenge is a breath holding challenge. The person who holds their breath the longest wins for their team. Right off the bat, Koini kicks Fiery's butt and makes both of them lose. Mm -hmm. Match is out. Teardrop is out. Bubble is really struggling. Tennis ball mm. is out. The last two competitors are Bubble and Ice Cube. And the winner is... Ice Cube. Me! Voting is reduced I, even I, more I, I to win. one... I won. I held my, I held my breath the longest. ...vote per person because their team is so astronomically small. Dang. Pencil, zero votes. Koini, one vote. It's down to Bubble and Fiery. Bubble. And the person eliminated is... Bubble. Fiery. No! Now that the person the book is titled after is gone, it's anyone's game now. Who do you think is gonna win? Leave Bubble. a comment. But before we move on to book 9, I wanna mention that Total Fire Island isn't the only lost BFDI comic. When Kerry discovered Total Fire Island, he also discovered two more books, Total Fiery Points and Total Fiery Switch. Oh. If you want me to make a video on these two books, make sure to like and subscribe. It takes you barely any effort and it helps me make better content. <laughs> The ninth challenge is a dice bracket. The person who rolls the highest numbers moves on to the next round. First up is Ice Cube vs Bubble. Ice Cube kicks the dice and lands a 3, and Bubble lands a 5. Bubble moves on. Second up are Match and Pencil. And this is where they finally address the fact that they're both on different teams. And Pencil says it doesn't matter what team they're on, as long as they stay being friends. Aww. Pencil is out and Match moves on. Coiny complains to Teardrop about Fiery and... Wait, this frame looks familiar. Lately, there has been a screenshot circulating the BFDI fund. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, I keep forgetting. Your vocal cords were ripped out by Blocky as a prank. It's not your fault, and I know how much you valued speaking. Don't where Coiny talks to Teardrop about the reason Teardrop not being able to speak is because Blocky ripped out her vocal cords. And I just wanna say, That's it's fake. Prank. Look at this screenshot. Good. The text doesn't even look close to being handwritten. So if you are a person who believed this, at least you know it's fake now. I'm Blocky glad. did not rip Teardrop's vocal cords, okay? But anyways, Teardrop rolls a 5, and Coiny rolls a 6. So Ooh. Coiny gets to move on. Out of Snowball and Tennis Ball, Snowball rolls a 3, and Tennis Ball rolls a 4. Mm. So Tennis Ball moves on. Bubble against Match. Bubble rolls a 3, and Match rolls a 1. Mm. Bubble moves on to the finale. Coiny keeps complaining about Fiery, and meanwhile, Tennis Ball rolls the highest number, a 6, so Tennis Ball moves on to the finale to face against Bubble. Bubble goes first and rolls a 2, and Tennis no. Ball rolls a 5, ah. making him the winner of the dice flips upside down uh. and lands on a 1, what? Bubble barely wins for a team. Right. Even though Tennis Ball did the best out of his team, he was still eliminated. That's Book bold. 10 and Challenge 10. All contestants get on this spinner that starts spinning faster as time moves on. Since animating it spinning would be a nightmare, I'll just have a revolutions per minute counter at the top, to okay. tell you how fast it's Spins. Coiny jumps up in the air like an idiot and falls <laughs> off immediately. Snowball whispers to Teardrop and tells her that Woody has a crush on- <laughs> Coiny jumps into the air like an idiot. The air like an idiot and falls off immediately. Snowball whispers to Teardrop and tells her that Woody has a crush on her. Teardrop remembers that he was scared of the volleyball a couple challenges ago and she was so disgusted Run. she fell and dropped Ice Cube and match with her. Dang. Snowball then flies off. Since Bubble and Pencil are both on the same team, they win. 144 rotations per minute- God dang bro! There are only 60 seconds in a minute! You telling me that thing is freaking rotating 2 and 24 out of 6, 12 out of 36 out of 15, 3, I mean 2 out of 5. Yes, 2 and 2 fifth times every single second? Teardrop gets eliminated. Oh boy, it's Every the bowling single. challenge. I'm sorry guys, but these challenges are so yeah, insanely boring and repetitive, I'm just not gonna go into detail over it. But I do wanna mention how much of a menace Bubble is in Total Fire Island. Right. She's extremely aggressive, gets into conflicts with basically everyone, she and she it. even threatened Pencil at one point. Uh, to see her go from such a crybaby in every other season to this is just insane, and I honestly kinda love it. Yes. The yelling beavers end up losing, and Match ends up being eliminated. Yeah, I like Ooh. this bubble. I like Book it a lot. 13 is a block stacking challenge. Every time the announcer says a number, you must play another block. Being okay. the only remaining contestant without arms, I see the first one out at 4 blocks. Coin is disqualified because Hell. he didn't stack perfectly straight. Hell. The contestants now have to start jumping to reach the top of their stacks. Bubble and Pencil come up with a strategy to help each other out by holding them up, Good. alternating between their two towers. But Bubble hits the stack with one of the blocks, knocking it down, ah. and shortly after that, Pencil's, Pencil's tower wins. also crashes, so Snowball wins. Oh. Coin showcases his incredible art he made with blocks, which is apparently supposed to represent Fiery with okay. a red line going through him. I guess I kind Coiny gets eliminated, like bringing it. us to the final four. Bubble and Pencil. Hey, hey, 
it's you got eliminated for creativity it's okay i'm going through him i guess i kind of see it okay. coiny gets eliminated bringing us to the final four bubble and pencil against icy and snowball mm -hmm. in this universe the announcer is a lot nicer compared to bfdi's announcer every single contestant is winning at least ten thousand dollars that includes eraser who literally just stood still the entire time he was competing no but the way. final three get more money than that third place wins thirty thousand dollars second place wins fifty thousand dollars and first place oh, wins ninety thousand dollars the challenge is hurdles and the eliminated yeah, contestants yeah, get to choose who they want to eliminate from the losing team the first obstacle is a semi-circle everyone deals with it fine except pencil and snowball pencil struggles a little bit but makes it through and okay. so does snowball the next obstacle is a rectangle pencil manages to stick the landing on her head snowball Literally. starts flattering but doesn't make it over the hurdle and is about to get pushed off he then gets smacked by the rectangle and almost lands outside of the arena but manages to barely hold on and make it out safely the announcer increases the speed of the hurdles and the next hurdle is oh! A bunch of hurdles start spewing out. Spheres, okay. bustles, stacks, flowers, hammers, trees, bulbs, uh, buildings, fish monsters, what numbers, whatever this is, spike, tower, whatever this is, a face, what pencil, needle, pencil. whatever this is, maze, hey, maze, my favorite character. tower, whatever this is, a face, pencil, needle. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Powerhouse. Okay. Whatever this is, maze, maze, a slime maze, and then came a slow hurdle. Pencil and Bubble made fun of it, and Ice Cube says it's weird that they finish each other's sentences. They start arguing. So Ice Cube retaliates by taking a bottle of glue and gluing Pencil's feet onto the ground, what? causing her to lose. And Bubble also loses because of sadness, uh -huh. I guess. So Ice Cube wins, and so does Snowball, putting Pencil and Bubble up for elimination. And in the hands of the eliminated contestants, Pencil. Bubble gets 5 votes. And Pencil is eliminated at 6. Yep. But then Bubble realizes the votes don't add up, and the racer admits he voted right, there are only two of them. 4 times for Pencil. Awesome. 3 extra. So Bubble oh. is actually eliminated. Dang the next it. contest is whichever team has the least members wins. And Ice Cube and Snowball are UFE. The eliminated contestants get to vote once again, and Ice Cube is eliminated. <laughs> what the? challenge is that okay we've reached the finale of total fiery island pencil versus snowball the two finalists have to go through all the past challenges again and they get one point for every win snowball trying wins. challenge snowball wins balance beam pencil wins mile run snowball wins yeah. volleyball pencil wins rope climb snowball wins dodgeball snowball, snowball wins win. spelling bee pencil, pencil wins oh wow the points are tied the final challenge is hurdles <laughs> And okay. Pencil is the winner of Good Total job. Fiery Island. Woo I did not expect that. I did not expect that. You guys know how I feel about Pencil. I did not expect her to win, but everybody was really cool in this season for some reason. You know what? That is a that is a good thing. Character development. Well, I actually this was before BFDI, so character regression. Well, if you guys enjoy this video like and subscribe i hope that you have a great week yeah oh, okay let me stop total fiery island was pretty nice it was actually a really chill show i'm surprised very surprised but i guess you can't always have homicidal announcers and Maniacs is as hosts. <laughs> okay, let's. I don't. I don't. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm. I'm kind of satisfied with what, what we've seen here, and I hope that you are too.